Mount Smutwood, situated in Spray Valley Provincial Park, Alberta, Canada, is renowned for its spectacular Smutwood Peak hike, a favourite among outdoor enthusiasts. It is a popular half-day adventure for trail runners or an all-day hike spanning approximately 17 kilometres round trip with an elevation gain of just over 1,000 metres. The hike begins at 1875 metres altitude with the summit of Smutwood topping out at 2,700 metres. The route offers a diverse array of terrains providing an engaging experience for hikers and overall comprises one of the more easier terrain hikes in the region. The journey begins with a relatively easy trail through dense forests characterised by a mix of pine and spruce trees. This shaded and cool section often has a soft, needle-laden path underfoot. As the hike progresses, the terrain shifts to open alpine meadows, where the landscape opens up to expansive views. The meadows are dotted with vibrant wildflowers in the summer months, adding bursts of colour to the hike. This section can be marshy or muddy, especially after rains, requiring careful foot placement. Further along, you will encounter a steeper, rockier ascent as you approach the ridge. This section requires more careful navigation over loose rocks and scree. The path here can be uneven at times with shifting stones, but is relatively easy technically, but rises steeply for almost 400 vertical meters in just two kilometers distance. The final approach to the Smutwood Ridge and Peak is characterized by a mix of rocky and potentially snowy patches depending on the season. This part of the hike is more challenging, with some areas requiring the use of hands for balance and support. It is achievable for most sure-footed people, but some people may find the exposed cliff disconcerting and the descent off the summit is steep and can be slippy with loose scree and gravel. There is not a lot of room to move around on the summit and a fall from the edge would prove fatal, so be careful with your foot placement when near the edges. A lot of people don't go all the way to the summit and you're still met with outstanding views from the ridgeline. The highlight of the hike is the breathtaking views of Mount Burwood, a diamond shaped ridgeline and peak looking out to the southeast. There's also views of Mount Smuts to the northeast and below the ridgeline are views of the two pristine turquoise alpine lakes nestled at the base of Smutwood Peak. This spot provides an unparalleled opportunity for photography and a moment to soak in the tranquil beauty of the Canadian Rockies. The best time to embark on this hike is from July to September when the snow has melted and the trail is most accessible. It is essential for hikers to be prepared for varying weather conditions and to carry bear spray as the area is known for its wildlife. To reach the trailhead it's approximately a one hour drive from the town of Canmore via the Smith Dorian Spray Trail. This is a gravel road for the majority of the way, so be prepared for a slower and potentially bumpier ride, but it is mostly flat and two-wheel drive accessible. Also note, there is no cell service along this trail, so make sure to bring a map or use GPS. Right, so stand by now for my feature on this trail. This is James Stewart from Couch to the Summit. Alright, good morning. It's uh, day six on my Rockies adventure. It's Sunday. And um, boy, it's cold at the moment, so I'm heading up to Smutwood Peak today, and I'm out here in the Spray Valley Provincial Park, pretty close to where I started my run from Mount Shark to Mount Assiniboine in 2021. And uh, I was going to do Tent Ridge today, but. Um, I decided I'd do the longest Smutwood one today. Beautiful weather forecast again. And uh, I just found out about this hike last night when I was browsing all trails and some of the views look absolutely fantastic. So actually pretty keen to do this one today and then just do a shorter tent ridge tomorrow as a more of a recovery day. So I've started a little earlier than usual today, uh, just to give me a bit of time at the top. So I want to do a bit of filming up there, and uh, just so I'm not rushing. So yeah, it's 10 past 9 at the moment, so that'll give me 3, 9 hours today. I think this one's only 15k out and back. Uh, 
where it's usually with all my running around that probably extends out to about 20k. There are bears about here but um, about four or five groups have gone ahead of me in the last hour so I think we should be okay but I've got my machete as a backup to my bear spray today it's better to be out living our life full of adventure rather than sitting at home living in fear you've got more chance of dying in a car crash on the way to the Rockies than you do oh geez, there's a big grass just sitting there so yeah it's uh you know there's always a risk in anything you do in life Okay, so let's get this run on the way. Alright, just an update, it's 11 a.m. I've been going for almost two hours and uh, seven kilometers done. So we're just heading up now. Looks like it's gonna be the start of the big climb up. Uh, yes it is. So now we go up to the top of Mount Smutwood and uh, we're gonna have some glorious views up there. I stopped um, and chatted to a couple from the Netherlands and they showed me their photos from the sunrise this morning 
they left at 4.30 a.m. and hiked up in the dark and uh, wow our photos are incredible so I'm looking forward to it It's 12.15 and I found a little lake here. It's uh, three hours, just over three hours since I left. And there's just a conga line of people coming up. It's a Sunday, so I'm just gonna take a little detour and explore a little bit and wait for the crowds to diminish a bit in the day. It's really windy up the summit too, so I'm gonna see if the winds will die down a little bit. So I'm just gonna hang out at the lake for a bit.
Alright, just an update. It's uh, 2 p.m. Almost been going for five hours. And uh, that's the views behind me. And that's some lakes down there. And that's where we're heading up here now. Is uh, Mount Smutwood. So that's some people coming down now, and a whole bunch of people on top. So I've been waiting around for the crowds up there to diminish. All those people will be coming down soon, and then I'll just have it to myself. And that's the views out there. Incredible. Okay, let's start heading up. There's a little bit of a scramble to get up here. I think I took the wrong way and ended up kind of cliffing out a bit. But we're here, so I'm going to check out the view for the first time with you. Here it is. Just an update, it's 3.45, I'm still on the summit, so I've been up here for over an hour, so um, 6 hours 40, 1400 meters of ascent to get up here, and um, only one person in the last hour, so just been chilling up here, taking photos. Alright, 
right, so I'm going to start heading back down now. And it's not going to be easy with the camera. It's a little bit tricky of this descent here. But we'll do our best.
All right, an update, 6.20 p.m. Almost back at the car. Done 23 kilometers. Nine hours, 15. Very slow day. Day full of photos and videos and fun. Not tiring from a running perspective, but just tiring from long day on the feet. And I've barely eaten today. So looking forward to a huge volume of food tonight. All right, almost there. All right, we're back 23.25 kilometers and uh, nine, hour, nine and a half hours, 6.30 p.m. Oh, that was a long day on the feet. So it was Smutwood or Mount Smutwood. Highly recommended, one of the most uh, scenic hikes I've done in the Rockies for sure. I mean, they're all scenic in there or a different way, but this one was quite dramatic. All right, so I'm gonna clean up and uh, make some dinner and then tomorrow I'll be up again for Tent Ridge. We'll see you then. Day six of the Rockies and we're out. Hey, so it's uh, 6 p.m. I'm coming back from Mount Smutwood in the forest. There's a bear in the area somewhere. I haven't seen it today, but uh, there was a sign. But anyway, I'm not concerned. Uh, day before this trip, uh, there was the breaking news, of tragic news, of two people in their 60s and their beautiful Border Collie dog were killed by a psycho bear that was uh, emaciated and looking for a meal to survive the winter. And um, it's the first bear deaths in Banff National Park in two decades. So it's unfortunate that it happened. And uh, I'm out here myself, by myself, solo today. And I've made peace with it. But it doesn't mean we live in fear and we don't come. So we should also be out here hiking in the Rockies too. And uh, you can stay at home and live in fear, but then, then you never get to experience anything in the wild. So I've got my door spray and that's a deterrent, but if the deterrent doesn't work, behind me here, I have a giant machete. And so the bear will probably still win, but it'd be a fight to the death. You or me, buddy. I'll go for the eyes, I'll go for the neck. I'll do whatever I can to survive. Come at me, buddy. And so if I go out, at least I'm gonna go out in style. So thank you for watching my video and I hope you consider me as your coach. This is James Stewart of Couch to the Summit Performance Coaching. You can find more information about what I offer on my website, couchtothesummit.com and you can find me on Instagram at Couch to the Summit. Links are all down in the video description. Um, I have various training courses and programs in development right now which will be released in late 2023 and early 2024. So depending on when you watch this video, you'll be able to find more information on my website and in the description below.